Hey guys, welcome to the Tars 37. I'm reviewing this, which is the Imaginex Knights Battle Pack. So really cool, really blessed picking this up today. I believe this is a Kohl's exclusive, and I gotta say it looks amazing. I love the artwork there. Uh, it just looks so cool. You have the castle, and then you have the knight on the dragon, and I'd love to see more of this in the line. And you also got a nice clear view of the figures. You got the king down there, and the little lion's castle, and it just looks amazing. Now, I believe the uh, Red Knight here was used in the 20th Anniversary Pack along with the Robotic Soldiers. I think those were called Sir Mace-a-Lot. They do have a different paint job. I can't remember the Knight's name. Um, I don't own those currently, but I will be picking those up soon, and I'll compare them later. Uh, but yeah, they, they look pretty cool, and I like the idea of Battle Pack. You get six figures, you get the weapons, and it's very interesting. And yeah. Now, looking on the back of this in a second here, let's see, yeah, let's turn this around. We have the knights as they're facing each other, and we have the utter waves out there, and yeah, let's get my packaging. So I gotta say, these look really cool. I love the blue and silver for these guys. They look great. This is for Mace a lot. I believe the paint job is slightly different on the chest, um, but it looks really cool. You also get a shield. You get the mace up there that he seems to like to use. And the whole concept is kind of like a robotic kind of uh, kind of knight. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Robot knight. I like the little chin piece there too. You also have the back there. And then the classic Imaginex eye emblem, which is pretty neat. And then over here, you have these two, the knights. And these actually use the Doctor Fate head and cloak. And and that's pretty cool and you got the blue and silver and I gotta say it looks really good there is some differences I believe this one is actually completely exclusive to this set this version of the night figure I love the little black sweat there this has got to be the perfect night helmet I never would have thought of that so I'm really glad that they reused that sculpt and then he does have a sword too which looks pretty cool and then also too over here if we turn him around um something interesting was the sinestro they actually use the sinestro body on that dr fate figure and you can actually see the power ring on his hand there and he still has the eye symbol and we just took out sir mace lot and nothing painted on back and then over here uh this figure also does again use that sinestro body so it also has the power ring which is kind of cool and they've added some black to the sides of the mask there and the black really makes this mask work like i really like this mask and i really like them using it for the night series and dr fate but just having like edges of black there i mean it just looks so cool and then you can kind of see the power ring there and that's pretty cool and then he also has a white cape and the eye symbol and then here we have the red and black stream slots and they look really cool these are also exclusive to the set and they look so menacing i love the little chin guard armor there it just looks so cool and then you have the red dragon snake thing and you have the mace which looks pretty cool and the shield and just overall the details look really good on this I like all the bolts and everything and the the eyes are also cut a little bit differently compared to the others. I'll show them side by side so you can see a better look at that. And uh, here we have the two knights again. And overall, I really like this. I like the concept of this set. You know, you have knights battling each other. You have accessories. Imagine X used to make knight sets all the time. It's kind of cool to see them go back to that a little bit. So I like that. And then here's a comparison with the knight who came in the crossbow set. And then here's him with his armor off. And then here we have the Sir Mace-a-Lot scare. You can see the eyes are kind of cut here, whereas they're just one slit on the regular Sir Mace-a-Lot. So that's pretty cool that they did that and um yeah and then here we have a comparison with dr fate and all three of these look great together i really like this and i think it's cool they're reusing that um but overall i think this is a great set thank you for watching please rate like and subscribe